the pressure in here in Colombia is for me to not even vote red on the board. Y'all might not know this. A, a dark money entity that was created on Tuesday, the day after we voted for this, I went home and a, a attack piece went out in my whole district about the fact that I voted for this. I get that the people in Colombia, that the lobby wants me to either not vote or to vote green on this, but my constituents want me to vote red and they want their tax money spent on core government functions, on their roads, on their schools. That's what they want their money spent on. So they Mr. don't want us in here trying to play this government planning thing where we in our bureaus can figure out where the jobs should be, who should be employed, how much money should be allocated where in the private sector. It never works. It's socialism. It's never worked anywhere before. So what are we doing to trying to do it here? But wait, would you consider the fact that South Carolina's track record on bringing major projects into this state is, has a winning record, and therefore, again, commerce should be listened to rather than those people back in your district that may oh, not have oh, ever brokered a oh. deal, may not understand Ooh. what it means of being a project, may not understand economic oh. incentives. So what you're suggesting is we should listen to the people back home yeah. in your district rather than the people at Commerce that have been successful at bringing these mega deals to South Mr. Carolina. Mr. Rutherford, I don't think that you could have espoused a philosophy that disagrees more fundamentally uh, than me. I, I, I completely disagree with you, and I, I think that you believe what you just said. I, but no, I 100% am going to listen to the people back home who I represent in this house. And you should listen to the 40,000 people in your, uh, your area and not and not the bureaucrats at Commerce, and not the lobbyists, and not the multi-billion dollar international corporations. You should listen to your constituents like I am. So yes, I will always fall back on the common sense of the wonderful people from Taylor's and Greenville Eastside far more than I will ever listen to unelected bureaucrats, other representatives in here who have been here for far too long and have maybe managed a whole lot of these deals, and far more than I will ever listen to any member out so there. So Mr. Morgan, lobby. we 